Checking the specs of your DAC shows that it can play 24-bit up to 192 kilohertz and direct stream digital 64, 128, 256 or even 512. What does that mean? Well, if you're only using your DAC to play CD rips and streaming music from Tidal, Kobuds, Apple Music or Spotify, you're definitely not using the true potential of your DAC. So now if you're looking to find and create high-res audio content for it, then you need to watch this entire video. I'll show you how to get the most out of your DAC with real high-res audio content. Best audio source on the planet are SACDs. So let's convert those into DSD files for playback with your DAC. The best tool to convert SACDs into DSD files for your DAC that I have found is called Sonore. It's basically a Java GUI interface for some open source tools. So if you're comfortable with the command line, that helps a lot, but I'll show you the essentials. First, we need to download the GUI tool and open the open source tool. The link is in the description. The GUI app relies on Java, so if you use a Mac, you need an older Mac OS to run this. I use High Sierra. The command line tool has versions for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Put both of these in the same folder. Now use the terminal or command line prompt to fix permissions for the SACD extract command line tool. Now just navigate to the SACD ISO image. Select and check that the Sony DSF option is selected. DFF files do work in Autorana with artwork, but technically only DSF files support artwork embedded into the file itself. So always use Sony DSF when making DSF files for the DAC playback. Now I'll add artwork to the DSF files using a Mac based app called Meta. Now, if all you need to do is add high res content to Rune, Autovana, or the app of your choice, there's many ways to find high res content. To start with, there's HD tracks. Pro Studio Masters and there's many more online resources.